car. I'm on the other side of so I want to ask you a couple of questions since we're going up to the election. Do you think it's fair that school sick drug addicts aren't allowed to hold political office? Because that's what this government's done to us. We don't improve this government. We have no right to hold political office. Which means we have no input into drug policy. Drug policy is a matter of life and death to drug addicts. And yet we're denied any input. To me it seems obvious. The reason for that is they're ripping us off. They're forcing us to pay 20 times the price of gold for stuff we can't live without. This forces us into crime and prostitution, exposes us to being beaten to death or tortured for not having money for the drugs that we used. And use people supporting it. And just are paying for it with high crime rates. Getting your cars stolen, your houses broken into, your friends and relations bashed and mugged on the streets. It doesn't do anyone any good these drug laws. All it does is spread a drug problem. A drug problem that wouldn't be as bad if addicts could get their drugs cheaply and then wasn't forced to deal with them. Recruiting new people who wouldn't otherwise be getting recruited into drug taking. Come on people, wake up to it. This whole drug law thing was a get rich scam pioneered by the people who got kicked out of running booze when prohibition ended. They instantly made drugs illegal to keep their rackets going. This is all sponsored by gangsters and corrupt people. There is no benefit to the society to punish the sick and the sick with drug addiction. We all suffer from it. We all suffer as in those that aren't victims of drugs or victims of those that are victims of drugs. This drug war is not against drugs, it's against the victims of drugs. Victims that the drug war created. Come on, let's just be sane for once and finish punishing people for being sick. No one wants to be a drug addict. It's not something people aspire to. They either are or they aren't. And the poor people that are, are now living in poverty because they have every the cent they get stolen by people who charge them a fortune for drugs. So then they have to steal off others. Well, let's just end this talk now. When the elections come up, make sure you know where the politician you're voting for loyalty's lie. Does he want no crime? Does he want to stop torturing sick people? Because if he doesn't, he ain't fucking worth voting for. Thank you for your time.